Earplugs. I have a life bond relationship with earplugs, right? Because since like the age of eight or nine, uh, I've been playing the drums. My previous profession before doing this was as a professional drummer. And I've always protected my ears, always. And it's about time I talked about some hearing protection because you know, in order to get the most out of your music listening, you know, you gotta look after these guys. And mate, when you go to old mate dad and go, dad, I need some earplugs so I can be a noisy boy. No doubt, dad will reach for one of these because more likely he's got a big bag of these in the shed. Well, that was the case for me. And you're about to see like, there are a lot of different earplug types and they're all specialists in their little fields. And these are the hardcore variety. The way they work is you screw them up like this and then you push it into your ear and then you hold it there and you let it expand to the shape of your greasy head. These block out just about the most. It's just this huge barrier for noise to get into. So you're probably thinking, well, mate, then that means these are the best then. Well, I mean, you're about to learn not in every application. A, a problem is these get really gross like very gross like these are disposable the reason why they come in giant bagfuls of them because you're going to be chucking them left right and center so the musicians out there who are like well what are some good reusable earplugs then i mean you know the most hardcore way you can go is to get custom molds like that's top tier that is your ear they fit no one else they're just not that cheap it is cool that you can also form them into like headphones. Like, there you go, best fitting headphones on the planet. But again, very expensive. Uh, but check with your workplace, because if earplugs are a very important thing, they might be responsible in supplying those for you. You know, just a little top tip there for you. But honestly, if you're a musician, the ones I recommend are the like little Christmas tree looking ones. Look, here's some for motorbikes. Yes, earplugs get that specific. The whole thing's squishy. It doesn't have a backbone per se, but that's because helmets push up against your ear. Is, right and if you've got big hard stems sticking out it's really uncomfortable and this little dingus is so you can get them out of your head nothing worse than having an earplug stuck in your ear let me tell you but i love the christmas tree style ones as a musician because they're tapered meaning you can dial them in so if i was playing a jazz gig i'd have them just sitting in there if i was playing like a big powerhouse rock gig i'd have them so far down my head but yeah they're the reusables i recommend hey you just leave them in the in the pocket of your shirt and send them through the wash boom they're clean now but there is like a downside to these style of earplugs though and that is that you gotta stuff them right down the back of your head so yeah, they block out a lot of noise, but then the problem is like earwax. Earwax is weird. It's almost like water when it's inside your ear, but when it leaves and cools down, it turns into like this disgusting resin. So these can be pushing wax right down the back of your head. And it's just this slow build up. Like I remember years ago, because you know, I've been wearing earplugs for like my whole life, basically. I went to the doctor. I was like, man, everything's a bit muffled lately. He looked in my ear and he laughed. Doctors see a lot of stuff. I mean, and like, if he laughs at your ears, like, let me tell you, when he gave me that full rinse out, the stuff that came out was awe-inspiring. It was like, it was that kind of like super gross, but then super amazing. And all of a sudden I could hear in stereo. And it was because earplugs like this, they just slowly smash it down there. You know, it doesn't happen in one day. It's like, you know, month two of wearing earplugs all the time. But you could consider these silicone ones. So the idea with these is that you smush them around your ear. So it doesn't go into your ear, it goes around it. It's like you're fitting a front door sort of thing. Over time, these tend to lose their stickiness and they just fall right out. But it is nice that you can walk into a chemist or supermarket usually and find these alongside Christmas tree ones, you know. But there's a genre for earplugs that is really, really hard to fill. The ones for sleeping. Quick tangent. Real estate agents are a lot like used car salesmen. As soon as you're out the gates, they're happy. That all they gotta do is get someone in the seat and away from the building. So thanks to this channel, I escaped the old slum hole I was living in and got dumped into a beautiful little house that's right underneath the airplane line. <laughs> Hey, all the planes taxi and land over the house. It, it drives me nuts from six in the morning to, I don't know, two in the morning. Such a shame. I used to really like airplanes and things and follow channels. They're just flying trucks and minibuses to me now. And blocking those idiots out as I try to go to bed at reasonable hours. It's tough. I, hey, the, the sleep buds are great. They're really stinking expensive. And I do find after maybe like two weeks of using them every single night, my ears start to hurt. Both have made these as small as they can make them, and they're all soft rubber and whatnot, but you know, that's just an issue I've been having. These can be just 
is hideous for sleeping in. Not that these are uncomfortable, but the earwax situation can get really bad. And like what I found is like, it would just push it all up to the back and just keep it there. Um, and just be careful when pulling these out, by the way, especially these foam ones, it can create like a big seal and it can go book when you do it. And it really sucks. <laughs> yeah, I found waking up with these in this ain't nice. These are the soft squishy motorbike ones, but the traditional like, you know, hard backed ones, they can really be painful for sleeping sometimes. I mean, because sure, I mean, maybe you use these one or two nights a week and it's okay. But if you want to drive them every night, it just pain just builds up over time for me. These are some of the better ones, but sometimes they can stick to the pillow and just get ripped out of your head or they just lose their stickiness. And you learn that by, you know, when you get woken up at five in the morning from some cargo plane going over and you realize that they fell out. But there's one extra enemy in the fight of earplugs that fit in your head while you sleep. And that's you. You are your greatest enemy. More notably, your subconscious, right? Forget sleep talking and sleepwalking. Some people have made sandwiches in their sleep. And so if there's something annoying in your ear while you sleep, you know what you do? You just pull it out. I'd wake up to these being pulled out all the time and you just can't control that. Tell someone who snores to just stop snoring. <laughs> yeah, sure. Your subconscious just goes, I'm gonna do what I want. So I've been hunting for a long time for a set of earplugs that I could use for sleeping. And like every night reliably that I don't get tired of after a little bit and I don't yank out of my head. Happy years. I've been trying so many different plugs and you know what? I've been driving my set of these for, I don't know, two, three months now and it's all been sweet. They're not as hardcore as these in the sound canceling department. I mean, 25 dB, that's good. I'd, I'd sit through a band rehearsal with that. And the whole idea is that, yeah, they're reusable and cleanable. I have worn out a set of Christmas tree ones, by the way. They just get deformed. You know, I've tried soaking them in hot water so they come back, but that just weakened it even more. This is their kit where they send you all three sizes. And that's just so you can figure out what size your head is. And maybe you need a bigger one in one ear or a smaller one in the other. You know, that's a real thing. Ears are weird. They're everywhere. So they tell you, you know, the big ones are the black ones, the medium's the white one, and the little boys are the red ones. And there you go. That's what they are. Ear holes aren't shaped like you think they'd be. I mean, if you look at the AirPod Pros, they've got a kind of shape like this as well. You can see from the front page how they fit, and they sit kind of flat. The colored bit is hard plastic, but most of it is really soft and squishy. And they are tiny. I mean, compared, like, this is a tiny Christmas tree one. I mean, you get up against one of these boys, and they don't go all the way down your head. So they don't tend to smush all the earwax down the back of my head. I mean, ideally, I'd like to sleep without earplugs. Let my ears breathe, you know? This is kind of like putting plastic wrap around them. <laughs> so, you know, it's it's still a slight situation, but it's not causing me big issues. And these are little carry cases, which are pretty crap, to be honest. Yeah, you know, it's good that it comes with them. Uh, but yeah, I find these just pop open really easily. Or not. Oh, my book so. How dare you make me a liar. You know, I don't want to promise some sort of cure-all. You know, my ears are different to your ears. And even the biggest one, you know, I could actually push really far down into my head, you know. But these are the ones I've been driving lately, and I've been having no issues at all. Like, I actually look forward to putting them in and going, oh, cool, quiet. <laughs> and, you know, if you're down for spending an extra couple of bucks, they actually have ones made out of ocean plastics and recycled ones. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, the fact that you're turning ocean waste into like really really good earplugs so if you've tried a lot of plugs and you're really struggling like achoo, what have you got to lose i really dig it you know get the pack with all the sizes in it it's not cheap getting the three pack but it, you know, how else do you know which ones fit it, like they gotta fit that's how your plugs work and once you know what size you are you know you can grab a couple of spare pairs and then you set and if you happen to be a musician as well and you go to gigs and loud shows and whatnot Man, these are just great to have in your pocket. I mean, like, <laughs> that fits in that really weird little jeans pocket. You know the one I'm talking about. And here's to a cromulent night's sleep. <laughs> Dang it. Oh, my duck. Well, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Because, mate, $1 a month, I do extra videos. 
It's the least I can do for you. And hey, on the topic of me being a noisy drummer boy all last year and continuing, I've been working on creating, and I'm, I'm not lying, a drum museum. I'm gonna bore you with drum things. I'm at the stage of my drum history thing where I'm just doing a lot of reading and stuff. And this has been an amazing book. Someone's like can collaborated like all the biggest, hottest drummers from all, oh, there's Bonzo and there's young Buddy Rich. Cause yeah, drums are nuts. They're just all over the place. So thanks very much, mate. I'll see you all next time. Wait, you have no idea what's going on. You're just leaning off of the wall now. It, well, what? Well, you want to fight about it, mate? You want to fight about it, Frank? Hey? Come on, mate. You make the first move. You're very good at this.